it's Alex here from WP Eagle. In this very quick video, we're gonna be adding a HTML sitemap, basically just a normal sitemap page uh, that lists all your posts, your pages, and your products that you've got on your uh, WordPress website on a nice page so that it's easy for humans to read. Uh, this sitemap is powered by the uh, XML sitemap, which we generated using the Yoast SEO plugin in uh, previous videos. So if you don't already have Yoast set up with an XML sitemap, you need to do that first before you uh, can add this HTML human readable type sitemap. But uh, if you've got that, that's good. Let's go and uh, set up our HTML sitemap. Okay, so I'm over at choppowertools.com, which was the last website I made. It's an Amazon affiliate website, but um, what I'm gonna go through now will apply to any website that you've got on WordPress and you wanna add a HTML sitemap to. So on this site, I've already created a page called sitemap. It's just here, um, but yeah, it's got nothing on it at the moment. So um, this is where we're gonna add the sitemap. So if you haven't got a page already called sitemap, then you need to create that. And obviously you just got to, when you're logged in, go to new uh, page. Call it sitemap and you're done. We're now gonna go back into the dashboard and add a plugin. So we'll do this in the usual way. If you scroll down to uh, plugins and then add new. And then if you go to the search and if you type in HTML, oh, there we go, I've already done it, HTML sitemap. Okay, so here's what's come back. And the plugin I'm gonna use is this one over here called WP SEO HTML Sitemap. Now this um, uses the XML sitemap that we've created within the Yoast plugin. So if you haven't got Yoast installed, Yoast SEO, then you're gonna to need to install that again. Check out my channel, I've got a few videos on setting up Yoast and all that business uh, and setting up your XML sitemap. Your XML sitemap is actually really important because that's the one that you submit up to Google. So yeah, please go and check my videos on that if you haven't done that already. I'm guessing that a lot of you already have, especially if you followed my other videos. So yeah, we'll go for this one because that way it keeps it kind of simple and it means that your XML sitemap matches up with your HTML sitemap, which is quite a good thing. So I've installed that, I'm gonna click activate plugin. Okay, so that's all activated. Let's scroll down and in here, where is that plugin I just installed? There it is, WP SEO HTML. If we go here, we can go to the settings. Okay, now we need to choose our sitemap page and it's obviously the page called sitemap that I just showed you. Uh, we're gonna put replace the page's content and then let's save and just have a look. Okay, so that's saved. So let's go back to the front of the website and go up to our sitemap. Now here we go, and it's obviously got a lot of things going on. There's all our products and our pages and whatever. So it's currently set to a free column layout and, and you can change this again if we go into those settings, which uh, here under settings, SEO, HTML, sitemap, got the free column layout. You could just have a one column, which might be a bit neater. We should add a link to the XML sitemap just for good measure. Click save changes. Let's have a look. There we go. Nice long list of products and all that sort of stuff and there's a link to our XML sitemap. Hope you found that useful. If you like what I'm doing, please click the like button uh, below this video and subscribe for more videos all about WordPress and associated things. If you've got any questions uh, or comments, please leave them below. And uh, good luck with your website, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.